hey guys uh welcome to another a video of illustrator and uh, in this tutorial we'll be looking at how we'll be creating this dotted text effect in illustrator as you can see i have used some uh, patterns in layers and as we go along the size get decreased so the text are very editable you can either use numbers or alphabets anything is fine and it will look amazing so now uh, to, uh, I'll begin with the design so just I'll uh, create our new artboard for that and uh, next thing is we'll be typing out the text So once you have typed our text, uh, the first step we are going to do is to uh, like uh, go, go to appearance panel. So you find it under windows, open it and here just uh, double click on the characters and uh, just remove the fill color. Then after that we'll add a, a fill color, new fill color for our pattern design. So just go to fill and for that I uh, will find some pattern over here on the swatches. So just I'll uh, find some uh, a nice pattern. I'm choosing dotted uh, pattern for this. So and after you have find the exact pattern which you want to apply, just select them all and drag into your switch panel. And after that, the simplest thing is I'll uh, just click on the pattern and it will be applied to your text. Um, I'm making sure that uh, the patterns are quite bigger in the beginning and as we go uh, out gradually step by step will decrease the size and over here as you can see I have used transform attribute panel best thing about this uh, attribute panel is uh, you can change the size dimension like vertically horizontal edges is very perfectly so just make sure that um, it's scaled perfectly and uh, there's no uh, gaps in between your pattern and uh, we'll change the pattern size so I'm reducing one step so making it a little bit smaller from the uh, previous one and uh, we'll be following this uh, step uh, for all the design stuff Uh, we are giving around uh, five steps to a pattern, so it's quietly the repetition of the same steps, so it's taking a little bit more time. And I think um, previously I used to like uh, show only one step and uh, skip all the similar steps in the tutorial. But I want to show the full step in this, so the tutorial is quite lengthy. But I think it will be very helpful for beginners and other uh, designers who want to see the full process. So here we are um, adjusting the vertical and horizontal uh, slider uh, to adjust the height and the width of the uh, text uh, fill color. You can say the fill color because we are adding fill color to it and applying pattern to this So it's a long process, you have to just carry along these steps. So 
So the next thing, once you have completed this uh, pattern, uh, like we'll do, let's create another duplicate and uh, give it a uh, another text like six. Now any number you can like, you like, you can just add it. And uh, what you can see here is uh, the direction of the pattern is on the right hand side. So we want to shift the pattern to the little left side. So the thing we'll do here is we'll go to the individual transform attribute panel and shift the horizontal position. That's all. It's very simple. It's very simple. The only thing is you are just doing it for all the five layers. So it's going to take some time. That's all. So just carry on with the steps and let's see as we go along and and uh, one thing I noticed here is the size of the uh, pattern for the second text is little. I feel little big so I want to change it to a little bit smaller pattern. Let's go to transform there and in the fill over there uh, I'm choosing some smaller pattern. So here we go uh, just go there and just one step down that's all and that will follow the next fill color as well so in that I'll go to one step down so that way uh, you're giving some space maybe you can see some negative space like that that's all so follow this step for all the other uh, designs and one thing which I'm doing over here is something very like uh, I'm uh, deleting the previous transform effects and copying the recent transform from the fill and adding it to the new one just follow the steps which you'll see over here so here see I have taken it uh, the selected last three and deleted it then uh, copy the top three one and uh, add it to it so that's the thing because uh, that saves us lots of steps like I'm just doing one uh, movement in the horizontal slider and it's giving that uh, effect it's shifting it in one step that's all that's the thing like so for the last step also do the same thing, delete everything and copy the top 4 transform option and place it there and it will be updated over there. You can see the boom and just slide along the horizontal and it will be done. Yes. Next is you have to just tweak the like apply the perfect pattern. It's dotted, you can use stars, rectangle, anything that you like and it will give you that nice uh, classy look effect. And now I'm changing the font size and for this I want some funky looking design because uh, the pattern, the design is quite uh, like a uh, funny or fun uh, stuff. So we want some bold and some um, like curvy uh, nature text. So I have chosen this text. And uh, next thing we'll do some final adjustment let's say let's say you want to, to drag it down so so here we go um I think uh, we have edit tweaked enough and we are I'm happy with the design so I just scaled it up and I did a nice I want to add a nice background color choose a dark um, choose a dark blue color for this design I just picked it up from the sideway uh, and um, just place it on the back of the layer like I said you can use the option send it to back or just go to the layer or panel and drag it down like that Um, the color is light, but I prefer dark background with the light uh, design. So, and over here, I have added a pattern to the background as well. So, I just duplicated the rectangular and bring it to top, and then applied a pattern to it and smaller dot dot pad. And the next thing, what I'm doing here is I'm just going to the uh, swatches. Uh, pattern swatches panel and double clicking on each of the pattern and this over here I'm selecting all the pattern and changing to white color so if you want to change the color of the design uh, you can just you don't need to go to text and uh, do it you just change the 
color of the pattern and your design color will be updated. Right now I'm changing each of the pattern color to white, uh, just opening it, selecting them and changing it to white, that's all. So we have applied around 5 to 6 patterns, so make sure all of them are um, selected and changed and the color is changed to white, that's all. And I think only last uh, design is left, so do it, follow the steps, it's just the repetition of steps, nothing new, uh, just um, on very simple tutorial, very simple. I think we have just used only three, two to three steps only and we have just used the repetition that's all. So very simple, very easy to create and very clean and it's look amazing. So doing some placement, do some placement I think and uh, I have tried some different effect for this also. What I did was I uh, just went into the uh, swatches panel and I just like selected them and applied some random color like sh color shades and rainbow color and uh, you can do that and it will give you a different feel to your design. Uh, finally I I'm happy with the design it's looking great the gradient the, the layer effect which we see here is so good and um, you can change the number you can change the text you can type out your name or anything after seeing this, it will be very easy. You can create this uh, design within maybe 10 minutes. And the fun thing is, you can use this anywhere. Just save this file, and whenever you want to add something, like you want to add this effect to your text or a name or a title, just give this effect, and it's boom, done one second and it's done i hope you enjoy this tutorial uh please do uh, subscribe and share and if you haven't uh, pressed the bell icon just uh, press it because it will notify you when my new tutorial is updated uh please follow along stay tuned thank you very much for liking and supporting the channel see you in the next tutorial